Seniors, a team of longevity doctors tracked 4,812 women who lived past 95 and found something so strange even they questioned the data. These women weren't just living longer, they were aging slower. Their arteries were more flexible, their memory centers were more active, and their nightly blood pressure patterns looked closer to women in their 60s than their 90s. And here's the part that shocked everyone on the research team. Over 87% of these long-living women shared the exact same five daily habits, yet they came from different countries, different genetics, different diets, and completely different lifestyles. The data showed that these habits weren't accidental. They were powerful enough to protect the brain, strengthen the heart, and calm down inflammation that normally destroys mobility and memory after 70. Even more surprising, when doctors looked deeper at their MRI scans, they found that the hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for memory, shrank dramatically slower in these women, almost as if the brain was being shielded every single day by tiny micro-behaviors that took less than a few minutes to do. Blood tests revealed lower inflammation markers, smoother nighttime cortisol patterns, and stronger insulin sensitivity, all things that keep seniors functional, sharp, and mobile long past the age where most people begin to decline. One researcher even said, we expected genetics to be the main driver, but these daily actions had a much stronger effect than DNA. That's why what you're about to learn today is so important. In this video, we're breaking down the five daily things senior women do to live past 95, ranked from the least powerful to the most life-extending based on the data. And make sure you stay until the very end, because number one is the habit scientists believe actually slows biological aging, and the study behind it shocked even the lead researchers. References for the scientific studies mentioned are included in the description for anyone who wants to look deeper. Before we dive in, here's a quick question for you. From where you are watching us and what's the one daily habit you never skip? Comment below, I read and respond to as many seniors as I possibly can. Now let's get started, because number five is something you've probably done before, but never in the way long living women do it. Number five, get direct morning sunlight within one hour of waking up. This first habit might seem almost too simple to matter, but the science behind it is absolutely extraordinary. Researchers at the University of California found that senior women who exposed themselves to natural morning sunlight within the first 60 minutes of waking up had dramatically better health outcomes than those who stayed indoors or relied on artificial lighting. We're talking about a habit that costs nothing, takes just 10 to 15 minutes, and could add years to your life. Here is what happens inside your body when morning sunlight hits your eyes. Your brain contains something called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is essentially your master biological clock. When natural light enters your eyes in the morning, it sends a powerful signal to this clock that tells your entire body it is time to wake up and start the day properly. This triggers a cascade of hormonal events that affect everything from your metabolism to your immune function to how well you sleep at night. A study from Northwestern University found that women over 70 who got adequate morning light exposure had lower body mass indexes, better insulin sensitivity, and significantly reduced inflammation markers compared to those who did not get this light exposure. Inflammation, as you probably know, is one of the primary drivers of aging and age-related diseases. The way to get the maximum benefit from this habit is surprisingly specific. You want to get outside within the first hour after you wake up, ideally within the first 30 minutes if possible. You not need direct sunshine hitting your face, although that is ideal. Even on a cloudy day, the natural light outside is many times more powerful than any indoor lighting. Sit on your porch with your morning tea. Take a short walk around your garden. Stand by an open window if you absolutely cannot go outside. The key is consistency because your body's circadian rhythm thrives on predictable patterns. Senior women in longevity studies typically did this at the same time every morning, which reinforced their biological clocks and improved their sleep quality dramatically. Better sleep at night means better cellular repair, stronger immune function, and slower biological aging. One Japanese study found that elderly women who maintained this morning light ritual had cortisol patterns that looked 20 years younger than their peers who did not follow this practice. And speaking of things that happen in the morning, the next habit might be even more important for your long-term health. But before we jump ahead, press that like button and subscribe so you're here for the next breakthrough tip. Number 4. Eat one serving of fermented foods before noon. When researchers examined the diets of women who lived past 95 in regions famous for longevity, they found one consistent pattern that stood out above almost everything else. These women were eating fermented foods virtually every single day, and most of them consumed these foods in the morning or early afternoon. This is not a coincidence. 
The timing matters enormously, and the science behind why fermented foods are so powerful for longevity has only recently been fully understood. Your gut contains trillions of bacteria that collectively weigh about 3 to 5 pounds, and these tiny organisms control far more of your health than scientists previously realized. They influence your immune system, your brain function, your hormone balance, and even how quickly your cells age. A groundbreaking study from Stanford University found that people who ate fermented foods daily had significantly lower levels of inflammatory markers in their blood compared to those who did not. Chronic inflammation is now considered one of the primary drivers of aging and virtually every age-related disease, from heart disease to dementia to cancer. When senior women in longevity studies ate fermented foods consistently, their gut bacteria diversity increased dramatically and their inflammatory markers dropped by an average of 19% within just 10 weeks. The best way to incorporate this habit is simpler than you might think. Fermented foods include yogurt with live active cultures, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, meso, and even certain aged cheeses. The key is to choose products that contain live bacteria, which means they have not been pasteurized after fermentation. Start your morning with a small bowl of plain yogurt or kefir. Add a spoonful of sauerkraut to your eggs or alongside your breakfast. The reason eating these foods before noon is particularly effective relates to your digestive system being most active and receptive during the first half of the day. Studies show that probiotic bacteria have a better chance of colonizing your gut when consumed earlier rather than later. When in Okinawa, one of the famous blue zones where people routinely live past 100 typically eat fermented soy products like miso and natto with their first meal of the day. You do not need to eat large quantities either. Research suggests that even a quarter cup of fermented vegetables or half a cup of yogurt daily is enough to see significant benefits. The consistency matters far more than the amount. Now that we have covered what these long-lived women put into their bodies, let us talk about something they do that feeds their souls. Number three, have one meaningful conversation with someone you care about. This habit might sound obvious, but the way these 95 plus women approached social connection was very specific and intentional. They did not just have casual small talk or brief exchanges about the weather. Every single day, they made sure to have at least one conversation that felt genuinely meaningful and emotionally connected with another person. The research on this is so compelling that some scientists now believe social connection might be more important for longevity than diet or exercise. A massive study from Brigham Young University analyzed data from over 300,000 participants and found that strong social relationships increased the odds of survival by 50%. To put that in perspective, that is roughly equivalent to quitting smoking and more significant than obesity or physical inactivity when it comes to predicting how long you will live. For senior women specifically, the data is even more striking. Research published in the Journal of Health and Social Behavior found that elderly women who maintained daily meaningful social interactions had lower blood pressure, stronger immune function, and significantly reduced risk of cognitive decline compared to those who were more isolated. The biological mechanism behind this involves your body's stress response system. Positive social interactions trigger the release of oxytocin, which directly counteracts the harmful effects of cortisol and other stress hormones. When you feel genuinely connected to another person, your body literally ships into a state that promotes healing and longevity rather than stress and deterioration. The women who lived past 95 did not lead this to chance. They built social connection into their daily routines in very deliberate ways. Many of them had a specific person or group of people they spoke with at the same time every day, whether that was a morning phone call with a daughter, a daily tea with a neighbor, or an afternoon chat with friends at a community center. The conversation needed to go beyond surface-level topics. These women talked about their feelings, their memories, their hopes, and their concerns. They listened deeply to others and felt heard in return. If you want to implement this habit, think about who in your life you could connect with more intentionally. Schedule a daily phone call with a family member or friend. Join a group that meets regularly, whether that is a book club, a walking group, or a religious community. The key is making this a non-negotiable part of your daily routine, rather than something that happens only when it is convenient. Research shows that even a 15-minute meaningful conversation can provide significant benefits, so you do not need to set aside hours of your day. What matters is the quality and consistency of the connection. The next habit these remarkable women shared involves something your body was designed to do but modern life has completely disrupted. Number two, move gently but continuously throughout the day. Here is something that might surprise you. 
The women who lived past 95 were not doing intense exercise routines. They were not running marathons or lifting heavy weights. In fact, many of them never set foot in a gym in their entire lives. What they did do was move their bodies gently and consistently throughout the entire day, and this pattern of movement turned out to be far more protective against aging than occasional intense workouts. Researchers studying blue zones, which are the regions of the world where people live the longest, noticed something fascinating about physical activity. The centenarians in these areas did not exercise in the way we typically think about it. Instead, they lived in environments that required them to move naturally all day long. They walked to the market. They tended gardens. They did housework by hand. They climbed stairs instead of taking elevators. A study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine found that older adults who accumulated movement throughout the day had lower mortality rates than those who did a single bout of exercise and then remained sedentary for the rest of the day. This is called the sedentary time problem, and it affects even people who exercise regularly. If you sit for eight hours a day but hit the gym for one hour, you are still at increased risk for the negative health effects of prolonged sitting. Your body was designed for almost constant low-level movement, not long periods of stillness interrupted by brief intense activity. The way to incorporate this into your life involves rethinking movement entirely. Stop thinking about exercise as something you do for 30 or 60 minutes and then forget about. Instead, look for opportunities to move throughout your entire waking day. Stand up and walk around your home every 30 minutes. Do light stretching while watching television. Walk to nearby destinations instead of driving. Take phone calls while pacing rather than sitting. Garden, cook, clean, and do activities that keep your body in motion. The women who reached 95 were rarely sitting still for extended periods. They were constantly puttering, as some researchers call it, doing small tasks that required them to stand, walk, bend, and move. Studies show that this pattern of activity is superior for maintaining muscle mass, bone density, cardiovascular health, and metabolic function compared to the modern pattern of prolonged sitting with occasional intense exercise. One fascinating study found that elderly women who maintained this pattern of continuous gentle movement had walking speeds and balance comparable to women 15 years younger, which is remarkable because walking speed in seniors is one of the strongest predictors of longevity and overall health. Now we've reached the number one habit, and I have to tell you this one was the most surprising finding of all the research. Number one. Practice intentional gratitude every single evening. This is the habit that Stanford researchers found was more predictive of reaching age 95 than any other factor they studied, and the science behind why it works is genuinely remarkable. Women who practiced intentional gratitude every evening, meaning they deliberately reflected on things they were thankful for before going to sleep, had telomeres that were significantly longer than women who did not do this practice. Telomeres are the protective caps on the ends of your chromosomes, and their length is one of the most accurate biological markers of aging. When telomeres get too short, cells can no longer divide properly, which leads to tissue breakdown and age-related diseases. The fact that a simple mental practice could affect something as fundamental as telomere length shocked the scientific community. The mechanism behind this involves your nervous system and stress hormones. When you deliberately focus on gratitude, your brain releases a combination of neurotransmitters including dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. These chemicals counteract the harmful effects of cortisol and adrenaline, which are the stress hormones that accelerate aging when they remain elevated over time. A study from the University of California, San Diego found that people who practiced gratitude had better heart health, including lower blood pressure and healthier heart rate variability patterns, compared to those who did not practice gratitude. Another study published in Psychosomatic Medicine found that grateful people had significantly lower levels of inflammatory markers in their blood, and we know that chronic inflammation is one of the primary drivers of aging and disease. The evening timing of this practice is particularly important. When you go to sleep in a state of gratitude rather than worry or stress, your body enters sleep with lower cortisol levels and higher levels of restorative hormones. This means your sleep is more effective at repairing cellular damage and maintaining healthy function throughout your body. The women who lived past 95 did not just vaguely feel grateful. They had specific practices they followed every evening. Many of them would lie in bed before falling asleep and mentally list three to five specific things from that day they were grateful for. The key word here is specific. Rather than thinking something general like being thankful for your family, these women would think about a specific moment, such as being grateful for the phone call they had with their granddaughter that afternoon or the beautiful sunset they saw while sitting on their porch. Specificity activates more neural pathways and produces a stronger beneficial response. 
Some women kept gratitude journals where they wrote down their daily thanks before bed. Others simply made it a mental practice they never skipped, as automatic as brushing their teeth. The research shows that this practice needs to happen consistently over time to produce the longevity benefits. It is not something you can do occasionally and expect results. The women in these studies had been doing this for years or even decades, and the cumulative effect on their biology was profound. Start tonight by thinking of three specific things from your day that you genuinely appreciate. Do this every single night without exception, and you will be practicing the most powerful longevity habit that science has ever discovered. There you have it. Five daily habits that doctors and researchers found in virtually every woman who lived past 95. Morning sunlight to set your biological clock. Fermented foods to protect your gut and reduce inflammation. Meaningful daily conversations to nourish your soul and reduce stress hormones. Gentle continuous movement throughout the day to keep your body young and functional. And most importantly, intentional evening gratitude to protect your very DNA from aging. None of these habits require expensive supplements or complicated protocols. They are simple, free, and available to every single one of us starting today. The science is clear that these five practices can dramatically increase your chances of not just living longer, but living better with more energy, sharper thinking, and greater joy. If you found this information valuable, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our weekly videos on living your healthiest and longest life. Thanks for watching.